So far, we've looked at how to calculate a probability connected to a z-score where you're interested in the area below, and then also the probability where you're interested in the area above. Today, we're going to be calculating a probability connected to being in between two z-scores. So we're still looking at college female height, and we are interested in this group who has a mean of 65 and a standard deviation equal to 2.7. Today, we are going to calculate a probability for the area in between two heights. So we're interested in having someone who is taller than 62 inches, but shorter than 67 inches. So whenever you have a situation that you have two different values, you'll have to calculate two different z-scores. So we'll have to calculate a z-score for 62 and a z-score for 67. So the z-score formula is x. So right now our x is 62 minus mu, which is 65. So you're measuring distance from the mean in units of standard deviation. So we're dividing by 2.7. So I have 62 minus 65, and then we'll divide that by 2.7. So our z-score is negative 1.11. The negative is legitimate because it is telling us that it's below the mean. So remember that these curves are centered at zero, so 50% of the values can conceivably be negative or below the mean. So then we'll also calculate a z-score for 67. So that will be our x minus 65, which is mu, and we'll divide that by 2.7, which is sigma. So we have 67 minus 65, and then dividing that by 2.7, gives us a z-score of 0.74. So now we can write this probability into standardized values. So 62 is becoming the negative 1.11. We're still less than, but now because we're on standardized values, we no longer have x, we have z. And now 67 is no longer 67, but is 0.74. So these are the standardized values that will fit onto our curve, which remember is centered at zero. So with negative 1.11, we would be to the left because it's a negative value, and then 0.74 would be to the right because it's positive. So z is in between, x is in between, we're interested in the area in between or this location. So remember, when you're using the calculator to find these p these probabilities, you're going to go second and then vars, and you do normal CDF, and it wants the lower bound or where the highlighting starts. So here that would be negative 1.11, and then it wants the upper bound or where the highlighting ends. So here that's 0.74. Now remember, because we're dealing with the standardized curve, we're going to leave mu as 0 because that's the standardized value of mu and sigma is one, again, because that's the standardized value of sigma. So we'll paste, and then we go out to our main window, push enter again, and we see that the area that we've highlighted here is equal to 0.639, or essentially our probability of somebody having a height between 62 and 67 inches is 63.69%.